thank you for your patience with us. <sighs> Greetings from the Imagine Ride. Um, my name's Andy Maddock. I'm the pastor at uh, Simi Valley uh, United Methodist Church, along with uh, Mark Whitman, the son of the late Reverend Dr. Frank Whitman, who long-timers in this area might remember uh, from the Simi Church. Uh, we are 195 miles into a 575-mile ride, um, which will take us by the porches of 30 Methodist churches in our district. We started at the northwesternmost church up at uh, uh, Paso Robles uh, at 6.30 yesterday morning with communion. Uh, my dad, a retired Methodist elder, consecrated some elements for us and got us on the way. Um, and then uh, we've had a, a number of stops, including a lunch program in San Luis Obispo. We rode all the way down to Buellton last night to put us in uh, a shotgun range of Santa Barbara. So we got up this morning and we're on our bikes at 5.30. Uh, because I preached at uh, St. Mark in Santa Barbara at uh, 9.30 this morning. So we've been going at it a while today. Um, we're doing this out of a dream I had when the bishop challenged us to respond to the Methodist Church's global health initiative towards dealing with malaria through Imagine No Malaria. I'm a malaria survivor. When I was 18 years old in 1996 in Kenya, I was serving as a missionary with uh, Southern Methodist University's Reaching Around the World program. Uh, and on my 12th day there, I got sicker than I've probably been in my adult life. I had a fever of 104 and was evacuating fluids out of every part of my body. Um, and because I was a Western missionary, I had access to the right medication and the right uh, 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 hospital and also clean water, uh, which is the biggest issue abroad right now. Um, and uh, so having been through that, knowing what it felt like as the parent of two kids and knowing that it still affects children at such a profound rate, uh, I knew I needed to do something a little crazy. Uh, so on behalf of our district to just raise awareness and to inspire people to get out and move and uh, give to the Imagine No Malaria campaign, we set off yesterday on my 37th birthday. Um, and uh, we will finish five days from now on Friday up in Bishop at the northeast corner of our district, uh, having traveled 575 miles for the sake of telling our story. Mark and I have been riding partners for the last four and a half years. Um, we've probably ridden over 500 times together, mostly locally. Uh, we've been, uh, this summer we've spent some pretty serious training, trying to get back to back to back days. Uh, I had a week, uh, about two and a half weeks ago, where I rode seven days straight, about 30 miles a day, just to see what it was gonna do to my body. Uh, that's not the same as trying to do 88 the day after you did 125, I've learned that lesson. Um, but uh, it serves as a chance uh, for us to, to kind of get ready uh, for exactly this. Um, every day from here is going to be something new that we haven't taken on, but a lot of it's familiar enough that we feel we feel good about it. Tomorrow we get to spend the night in our own beds because our stop is in Simi Valley, so I'm very excited about that fact. We'd like to welcome you to First United Methodist Church Ventura. Thank you for your hospitality. It has meant the world to us. Uh, we, are, we are proud to be United Methodists and a part of this, that's for sure. Um, I, I just, I'll introduce two people to you. Um, Louine's out in the street uh, talking to the fellow cyclists. That's Mark's wife, um, and she takes good care of us. Uh, she's my, my sunscreen nanny. She makes sure I keep <laughs> reapplying. Uh, and then the guy checking his iPhone furiously is my dad, Tom Maddock, uh, who's a retired United Methodist elder. He actually served Santa Maria first from 82 to 85 before our conferences split to the Desert Southwest and Cal Pack Conference. And he had an opportunity out that way and, and went to the Desert Southwest side of things where he retired after 35 years of ministry. And so when I told him my crazy dream, he got up the next morning and said, I have a crazier dream. What if I followed you in a 27 foot RV and you could sleep in that? <laughs> so this is our home for the week and uh, it's been great to have him. Um, I, I don't envy him. I get to see all of this beautiful country from the my bicycle seat, he gets to watch my backside bounce around as he follows us at about 15 miles an hour. So it's, it's, uh, it's been ferociously tiring, but a tremendous gift, a tremendous well, gift. We're excited you're here and we hope this will, will inspire our congregation because we have till the end of 2015 Correct. to work toward the conference, conference goal. goal. Absolutely. Um, as uh, Pastor Mary said, I, I do, uh, part of what we want to do is lift up a sense of encouragement for local churches to consider uh, what you can do. Um, I, I have three aims for this, like AIM, talk about awareness, to talk about the impact of malaria, 
Um, our partnership as a church with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is a powerful one. They are a very strong research arm when it comes to healthcare. Uh, a couple of weeks ago when the Discovery Channel had their Shark Week, um, the Gates Foundation put up an infographic about the world's deadliest animals. Last year, or in 2012, the last time they recorded that data, sharks killed five people. In the same year, mosquitoes killed 720,000. Wow. Um, and uh, the Center for Disease Control in the United States was established in the late 1940s because of a crisis of malaria in the southern Gulf states in the Appalachia area. Um, and if in a four-year window of time, from 1947 to 1951, the Center for Disease Control eradicated malaria in the United States uh, because of education and access to the right medication and water. Um, and uh, it's our chance. I mean, our, our mission statement as a church is to make disciples, and this is a place where that desperately happens in an awesome way for the transformation of the world. And our, our work for global health is a big part of that. It's something the Methodists have always done. You can travel this country and see Methodist hospitals and United Methodist women at work for global health initiatives and men doing their part to feed the hungry. Uh, so it, it, uh, it's, an, it's an essential part of who we are and something I'm proud to represent. So one last word, one last story, and then I'm going to drink some water. So the mosquito on the shirts and on the jerseys was uh, a gift to us from a former Disney uh, illustrator. He works with a member of our staff parish committee. Uh, and in a staff parish meeting uh, this summer, I said, oh, we need a mascot or something. Uh, and so Tony went and talked to his friend Bob Spong, uh, who about four minutes later came back into his office with this ink drawing. And he said, something like this? He said, I don't know, I'll send it to Andy. I was like, that's perfect. So all right, we call him Dead Skeeto. So a former Disney uh, illustrator uh, gifted us with that uh, to inspire us on our ride. Any questions about where we are, what we're up to? I'd love to find some shade if we're going to continue to visit yes. more than that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if you've got some water, you're calling my name. Huh? Gracious God, we are so grateful for this great effort to raise money for no more malaria. We pray your blessing and preservation for Mark and Andy on this important ride use this in their lives and in the lives of all those churches they stop at to inspire us all to get busy and raise money for more nets that will save lives. Bless them as they go their way and bless them this day and through the entire ride. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We're making a quick port stop at College and then Bombing down your way. That's right. We'll, we'll be there first. There you go. Yeah, you'll, you'll beat us. All right. I got water. I got a support team who's getting in their car. We'll see you in a bit. Mark's going to get on his way. One, one thousand. All right. Two, one thousand. Ate a full yeah, yeah, we could. She said you could eat two pizzas for that. All right, Heather. I'll see you. Love you. Okay. Bye bye. Drift off this curve. All right, guys, Godspeed and God's blessings on your journeys. Good Chura first. Thank God you. bless you Thank till you. we are together again. <laughs>